Could you please adjust the focus of the image? Copy. The target is to the one block to the right of the vase car. We are in alignment. Copy. The angular size of the target is over 1.5 blocks, approaching two blocks. Copy. Two blocks of, is the angular size of the target. We are in alignment right in the center. Copy. In the center, half a block above and to the left of Vesca, coming back to the center, we are in alignment. 2.5 blocks, 3 blocks. Expecting for the contact goes to the left one block below the wear in alignment. Four blocks waiting for the contact. There is a misalignment within the range contact mechanical capture. We're observing that. This is Mission Control Moscow. Docking of the Soyuz TMA-19 confirmed at 5.21 p.m. Central Time. That is 2.21 a.m. here in Moscow, also 6.21 p.m. Eastern Time. So the crew of the Soyuz TMA-19, including the Soyuz Commander, Fyodor Yurchikin, as well as the flight engineers, Doug Wheelock and Shannon Walker, have arrived at their new home for the next six months. Once again, the Soyuz TMA-19 has docked with the International Space Station. Official docking time, 5.21 p.m. Central Time, 6.21 p.m. Eastern Time. 2.21 a.m. Moscow time. Open. So Tracy Caldwell-Dyson, Mikhail Kornienko, and Alexander Skortsov there are getting ready to welcome their brand new Expedition 24 crewmates. Doug Wheelock, Shannon Walker, and Fyodor Yurchikin getting uh, ready to make their way inside the Zvezda service module. And there you see uh, your chicken greeting uh, Skorsov, as well as uh, Caldwell Dyson. This uh, crew getting their first view inside the International Space Station after uh, traveling for two days after their launch. There is uh, Shannon Walker getting her first view of the orbiting complex, and uh, back behind her is Doug Wheelock there. This is uh, Walker's first trip up to the station. It is Wheelock's second. Uh, last time he saw the International Space Station was back on STS 120. Uh, this orbiting complex looked uh, quite a bit different back then. He and his uh, fellow crewmates on board Shuttle Discovery delivered the Harmony uh, node, but uh, since that time, the uh, Columbus Laboratory has been added, as well as the Cubo Laboratory, as well as uh, uh, certain brand new sections of the Russian segment. So uh, this uh, outpost looking quite a bit different than it did last time Wheelock was there. But uh, there you see the Expedition 24 crew, uh, as it will remain uh, for the rest of this increment over the summer and into the fall. Uh, How do you read me on SG-1? Hello, dear friends. How do you read me? We read you loud and clear. How us? We read you loud and clear also. This is Alexander Lopatin, the first deputy uh, chairman of the State Committee. On behalf of our State Committee, I congratulate you with the successful beginning of your uh, flight uh, and uh, looking at how you met each other, how you smile, how you laugh, uh, that means that uh, everything is successful. Alexander, this is the new addition to your crew. Thank you very much. So now you have a full crew. Uh, and uh, uh, Best wishes in your joint uh, venture and your joint work. And now I give uh, uh, the 
I give a stage to our American colleagues. Hello, this is uh, Gerst. How are you guys doing? Doing great, Gerst. It's good hey, to hear Gerst. from you. It is great to see all you guys together in space, all six of you. It, you'll have an awesome expedition, plenty of good work in front of you. Enjoy your time, enjoy your friendship. The time will go by fast, but make sure you enjoy yourself. Good work and uh, have a good time. And I'll turn it over to Mike Coates. And I'll turn it over to Mike Coates. Hi, this is Mike Coates, and I want to congratulate you for a uh, picture-perfect uh, rendezvous and docking. Uh, it's delightful to see the uh, space station fully manned again with a uh, six-person crew. Uh, I want you to uh, enjoy your time up there, uh, say hello, uh, but don't waste a whole lot of time. We need you to get to work in the world's finest laboratory up there. I'm sitting next to uh, Shannon's mother, uh, Sherry. And I promised her, Shannon, that you would uh, get plenty of exercise, eat right, and, and get to bed at a reasonable time. So I'll turn this over to your mother for a second to say hello. Hello, Shannon. This is Sherry Walker, your mom. I hope you had a great flight up there, and it was, and it was everything you thought it was going to be. I can see the big grin on your face, so I know you're having a good time. I'm going to give the phone to Rosalyn now so she can say hello. Hello, Shannon. This is Rosalyn. I actually had a message for Fjordor and Wheels to uh, please bring you home safely. I have a lot to do with that, too. One of three? Дорогие друзья, все это управление полетами приветствует вас. Вот получается, мы говорим... Everybody's talking at the same time. One more guys on the MC on the behalf of MC Space Station. Please welcome Shannon Moskow and Rosalind Wheels. 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 Please welcome Shannon
Charles and Shannon, it's Melissa. Um, Josh wanted me to tell you hi. You guys look amazing. And Shannon, I'll bet you just haven't stopped smiling. Oh, well, we'll see you guys back in Houston in right. six months. Hey, thanks for coming, Melissa. And um, tell Josh that, uh, sorry he wasn't able to make it uh, there, but uh, thanks uh, to everyone in Star City. We'd pass our thanks to them. That was a great send-off you guys gave us uh, a couple weeks ago. And um, I'm telling you, that smile, when those engines lit on, the, on that rocket, that smile was just like that. And I haven't, I haven't left uh, Shannon's face in, so it was really, really great. Well, congratulations. Thank, thank you, Wheels, Melissa. It's nice to hear from you. Wheels, Wheels Sully. Sully, Wheels, go. Listen, you guys... You guys were all wonderful, and to the entire crew, Miyake Pasaki. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Sully. And uh, hey, uh, uh, Kristen and Kyle, now they've got plenty of uh, plenty of ammo to do their uh, school papers when they get back. A прекрасная половина. Okay, the best half of uh, ISS, would, would you like to say something? Because only men are talking. Okay, you see, the, there are fewer of them, uh, the, the better half. Uh, who, you want, uh, who do you want to talk to, Tracy or uh, Shannon? Well, uh, we don't care, anybody. We would love to hear all of them. Well, Shannon already talked. Uh, well, if, if, if uh, there is nobody else, that uh, try to find the third woman if you have one there, up there. Hey, guys, it's Katie. I'll just, and uh, hello from everybody here in the office in Bag and Star City. And so what, uh, what we'd like to, we'd like to hear some stories. We want to hear about Ascent. We want to hear what it's like up there. I don't think we have enough time right now to go through all of it, but we will tell you everything later on. It's good to hear from you, Katie. <laughs> hey, for, uh, for Katie and Paolo, we did, uh, um, Shannon and I, last couple of days, have been putting together our thoughts on on the things we experienced during the during the ascent phase, and also just living aboard the Soyuz, uh, we've got some tips for you and uh, and some things that were uh, uh, not really surprises, but things that might help you guys out as well. I was thinking that folks in the fishbowl might uh, like to hear just a couple of your thoughts about what ascent was like or what it was like to first float around in the bayo. I don't think there's any way to easily describe what Asana is like. It is totally amazing. This giant beast comes to life and shoves you skyward, and it's noisy and shaky but wonderful at the same time. It's, it's interesting when, when everything is pressurized a couple minutes before launch, you can feel things happening underneath you and uh, hear mechanical things uh, going on, and so it's a... Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, First, uh, last few minutes leading up to launch is uh, uh, quite exciting and quite dynamic. You know something's happening, and um, and then when the lights off, of course, it's being a, sort of a center line thrust, and you're sitting right on the center. Um, you just feel that kick in the pants, and then and then of course um, there's a little bit of a lateral, um, uh, but uh, uh, but the second to third stage is a, is pretty dramatic, and I think. Um, Maybe you saw our, the little dog we have as, as a talisman. He, he did a little, uh, he did a little third stage uh, kick in as well. But maybe the, all this technical, it's not so important. More important for us, it was the Paolo Nespoli wall. If you remember, Bon Appetito, and we had this Appetito very well. And I think it's more important in space. The technical, it's we had great launch, we had great talking, it's the every system working very perfect, very soft, very correct, and we are very lucky with this. But bon appetit, it's very important for everybody of us. And we remember, say hello, Paolo. 
Well, uh, you, the six of you look totally marvelous up there. Bon appetito. Well, guys, we are, we're very glad to see you, to talk to you, to hear you. We're proud of you. We are wishing you successful flight all together and talk to you later. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you, Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for reliable equipment. Guys, that's it. We're wrapping up. Okay, Nikolai, we copy the information. Uh, we are congratulating you on the successful docking and on the start of your uh, work together. Thank you, Nikolai. Thank you very much. Okay, and could you also turn off the camera? Otherwise, uh, you know, we keep watching you there. Okay, turn it off.